well. We're set up here on a half cut cornfield. He's cut the edges. He's got some little fields down. You see he's less than hand in corn there. These deer come out of straw, come up on this hill, and they'll come from the alfalfa that we have to the north of us. Real good bucks spotted in this field. We're gonna try to get a setup on him. We call him Stick Kicker. He's got two kickers off his brow lines that go backwards. Um, or we're just looking to get uh, a double kill. Alright, so see if this works. I think it's the antelope is pretty good. Uh, the best thing we do is try it out tonight and see what happens. So it's well. Oh, two o'clock. We'll get back out here in about an hour, hour and a half. Well, kind of windy out. It's supposed to die down tonight. Hopefully, catch these deer coming out of the standing corn into the cut corn. Hopefully lay the smack down. A lot of does in the area, so. Just gonna do some management. Well, we just got out of the ground blind, got back to the truck. Um, had them three does come in tonight, didn't like the ground blind at all. Um, they moseyed off, and then pretty soon, uh, two spike bucks came in, and a nice little three-year-old, should be a dandy in a couple of years. Uh, they didn't really like the ground blind either, but uh, we're going to take this into consideration for next time when we place our ground blind. It kind of looked like... Uh, sore thumb sticking out of the corn a little bit next time we're gonna brush it in a little better but what we learned from this we learned from our mistakes and that's why they call it hunting and not killing so we're gonna keep on going and see what more footage we can get this season so hopefully it's a good season